Hi guys, this will walk you through the final project, which will be the last uh, eight layouts that we'll do for the final presentation. So this should get, get us through everything as long as you have all the uh, renderings and everything created. So this is kind of what we want to end up with. This is the final product. I've got a little bit of a title block, and then I have each of these sheets grouped in different folders with different information on each one. So I'll walk you through how to do that. So to do that, I'll do a new file, file new. And here you'll want to switch this over to inches and type in 17 for, for width. This should already change itself. And then you go 11. Keep your pixels per inch probably at around 150. That feels pretty good. Uh, and hit OK. So that's what we've got there. So now I want to give myself a border because we probably are going to have some kind of a border of some kind. The way you want to do that is go to View. And then make sure this is checked, Rulers. So go to View, Rulers. And what View Rulers allows you to do is pull um, guides down if you you know want to see those how they pull down uh, but what I want to do is do one that's very precise your history is right here you can always go back I want to do one that's very precise and to do that in a precise way what I'm going to do is go to view um, new guide and then vertical horizontal I'll do a 0.25 I'll do a quarter inch border you see how that places that really perfectly then I'll do that again um, new guide, then uh, let's see, 17 by 16.75, uh, view guide, I'll do horizontal now, 0.5, and then do a new guide, and that'll be 10.75, those are, there I go, there I've got those. Looks like my top one didn't work out right. If it doesn't, if it doesn't go right, what you can do is move these up back into the ruler and they'll go away. So I need to do a new view, new guide, horizontal, 0.25. That one's right. So now I can go ahead and start placing things. Before I do that, I'm going to put some information here that I know I want to have on every sheet, which will probably be some text. So I'll go text. This is a font that I like to use, but you could use any kind of thin font. Um, Arial Narrow is also a good one. Uh, but I'm going to stick with this uh, one that I really like, this uh, Swiss font uh, right here. Keep that light. Uh, ten point is probably fine. That's legible by you know as reading. Uh, if you want it to be really legible from far away, obviously you go bigger. But I would say ten point is good. And then I'm going to um, start typing here. I'm going to put I'm going to my caps lock on. I'm going to do my name. I'll do the course number twelve o what's eleven o two. Uh, I'll do the semester, spring 2016, oh, no, we're fall, wishful thinking, 2016. Um, I'll do the title of the project, Walker Art Center Expansion. And then I'll credit the architect, HGA Architects, Architects and Engineers, something like that. I'll probably also want to put the date on here, won't I? Then they'll do the date of the presentation, which we know is next Wednesday, so that's going to be the 21st, uh, 12, 21, 2016. So there's that. Um, I'm going to put this just inside the border so, you know, it doesn't go right up to it, but it'll go inside the border, something like that. Now, the other thing I want to do is have a numbers for the sheets. So I'm going to do that text again, but I probably want those numbers to be bigger. So I'm going to go, I'm going to double that size, so like 24. Whoops, I don't want to do that to that. Let me get myself on a different layer here. There we go. Uh, 24. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do the this convention where it's just a zero and a one. Really simple for presentation. I'll put it down here, and what you should see is you'll get a little purple line that'll allow me to line up to that other text. That's what I want to do. And then just kind of eyeball it down there so it's pretty close to the, you know, these and these are pretty equal. So that's, that's good for that. So what I want to do is do that for each sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and right click and um, duplicate layers. Oh, I got to right click over here. Sorry. Yeah, if you duplicate on the right click on the T, it gives you different information. Right click, duplicate layer, and I'm just going to hit enter. And I'm going to do this until I get eight of them. That should do it. And then what I'll do, I think I did do too many, one too many. Then what I'll do is I want to change all these to be different numbers for each sheet. And what I can, how the way I can do that is just double click on the T. Double click, and I'll type in 02. Double click, 03. Double click, 04. Double click, 5, 6, 
seven, eight. So those are my eight numbered sheets. And you can see they're all on at the same time and they're kind of making a big mash. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to lay out my first sheet by turning off all the other ones except for zero, one. And then what I'll do is uh, go ahead and file, insert, uh, place embedded is what I want to do. And maybe the first one I want to be plans. So I'm going to go to the plans and sections, plan and sections, place. And so it will give me the option to do any of the three. I can't do all three, but I can do any of them. I'm going to start with that plan. And I'm going to hit enter. That places it. So when I do the place embedded, I get this little thing, which is a smart object. And what I can do is I can double click on this and it will open it up in Adobe. And when it opens it up in Adobe, I can choose to edit it. And when I edit it, it performs this little page recognition thing, which translates the text and the lines and everything. So what I'm doing is trying to keep everything vector based. Um, this is something you can do as an option. It's not something you have to do. You can do all the editing in Photoshop you want. Just for future reference, that's a good way of uh, controlling, you know, when you have a, uh, a vector diagram to kind of keep it vectored. Uh, so the other thing I want to point out here is now that we have these multiple objects on the page, there are different ways that we can move them around. If this little guy is unchecked, then whatever, whatever is highlighted over here is what will move. If this is checked, then whatever my mouse is over is going to move. So it just depends on how you want to move things. But I'm, I'm just going to get this plan into place. I'm going to go here, get this plan kind of where I want. I probably want it about right there. Um, Maybe I want that up a little bit. And then the big thing is that you want to do is transforming. You want to get this to be scaled correctly before you uh, rasterize it. And the way to scale things so that they stay proportionate when you hit that scale button, hold down the shift key and pull this guy out. I'm going to get him to be a reasonable scale that uh, will work on the page. So I know I'm just going to have this plan on here probably, so I'm just doing this. And I'm leaving myself a little room on the bottom because I know I'm going to do a section down at the bottom. Um, so my, maybe I'll do something like get that up to the border maybe. Maybe go like this. Maybe keep that in the middle. I could float it. No, those are all options I've got. I'll do that. And then what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and place the section, which is also here. There we go. And I think I want to do this section on the on the first page because it's kind of the main section. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to scale this so that it stretches across the entire page. I want all of that what's cut to go across the entire page. And what I'm doing is anchoring it to the draw to the to the sheet. That's a big thing that we like to do. We like to anchor things to the sheet that are able to be anchored. Um, you know, maybe I'll do something like that. Uh, you can see that maybe I want to get this to be the same scale since they're reasonably close. So maybe I want to shrink this. Maybe I want to do that. Um, a little bit more. Maybe like that. And then maybe I want to adjust my plan. Uh, I want to select my plan so that it's close to the same scale. I'm just kind of doing that to uh, get the scale to line up. See if I can't get it close. Again, this is not something you have to do to have them at the same scale. You can if you want to. I'm zooming out by holding out my Alt key and doing the mouse wheel, just uh, for reference. That's looking pretty close. And then I'm going to move this up. Uh, like that. So now obviously my plan is a little too big right on the sheet. So what I'm probably going to do is select both of these. I can hold down and shift click both of those and edit transform scale. And you can see if I zoom out you can see where that is. I'm just holding down my shift key. To get those to scale down. Just want to get it to where the plan the whole plan is on the sheet. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just hit enter so that that's placed. And I can start to move this around.
That looks pretty good. I'm going to I'm going to scale it up just a little bit. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just sort of trying to get this to work out. Uh, and so there I go. So now the, the one thing I want to be able to do is fill all this stuff in black. So I think what the way I'll do that is I'll select this guy. Now I've got these in place and I think I'm going to go ahead and rasterize them. So they're vector based and now I'm going to go to rasterize layer. Um, and then what I can do with that is go to my paint bucket right here and that paint bucket will do the foreground color. And I'm just going to come in here and ooh, that's not, that's, that's not working, is it? Uh, the, let's see, my tolerance, I might need to move that down. If I go down to one, let's see what it does. Ooh, even worse. Um, this should give me some options. It's not, uh, let's see what I can do here. No. Uh, it may, may be that it's open somewhere, or am I on the wrong layer, or rasterized, or did I, ra I rasterize the wrong layer? Aha. Rasterize that guy. That's better. There we go. Um, so, you know, maybe I'll take that tolerance back down. And you can play with tolerance and see what it does. It just sort of helps you uh, figure out what it is you're uh, trying to fill in. Uh, and now here, what, I, what I've got is an issue where, um, yeah, don't want to do that, don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. So I've got some things open probably. Yep, there's some things that are open right there. So I might need to draw some lines or fill that in, or I might just want to take these two and move them a little bit so that this is off the page. Um, then I can go back to here and keep filling in and get those things so that they, they're looking right. Don't want to do that yet. Um, nope. And then, you know, over here, I need to fill in the rest of this. So I'm going to go ahead and use the polygonal lasso instead. And I'm just going to get this going on from there. And I'm just going to kind of guess here. I'm going to be able to fill this in in a minute. So I'm not too terribly concerned about getting this perfect. Just trying to get through this. Adjusting some things a little bit here. Uh, did I deselect something? There we go. Okay, there it is. I can do Shift F5 and fill it all black. So that's pretty good. Now I should have a lot more control with that paint bucket to do the rest of this. And there we go. There's my first sheet. So the one thing you'll notice is that number one, is disappeared. So first of all, what I have to do is move him up so that he's in front of those plans and sections. Then I need to double click on that T and change the color of the text to white, uh, and then he'll show up. So that's sheet one. So now what I want to do is I want to take all of these and put them in together, because those are the things that are going to be on that sheet. So I select all of them. I can go up to this little guy right here, this little menu thing, and go uh, new group from layers. And I'm going to call that zero one. So there's zero one. There's sheet zero one. It's all done, turn it on and off, done. Probably the one thing I might wanna do with uh, this, so I can still go in and edit. So if I might wanna go in and here and uh, clean up that plan a little bit, like this is uh, not something I probably wanna see. Um, you know, Maybe I wanna redo the text, I'm not sure. But you can leave all that. You can do a title block, you can do a key index if you want, whatever you wanna do that. So that's, that's one. So now I wanna do two, so I'm gonna turn off one, I'm gonna to go to two. And for two, I'm going to do, um, well, what did I do before? Let's see what I did before for two. Uh, I did that, oh, I did that cool section. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to put that, so I'm going to go file, place embedded, place. There's that. I'm going to stretch this out so that it fills the entire sheet. And maybe I'll leave this uh, much of it so that that number can be there. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and select the color range that is red because I think I want that to be um, black and I'm gonna go shift F5 um, come on shift F5 I'll find edit fill 
wait, where am I? Oh, it's just still a smart. 